we look at it over a long-term period of time, we see that this next era of growth will be a digitized era of digital products and services and the use of technology and data to make businesses substantially better. We see data-driven companies increasingly outperforming those that can't use data as a strategic asset. We help our customers use data for success, and that's why NetApp is succeeding. When you look at the geographic areas and demand these days, to the extent that you've talked about it already, drill down and talk about how the transition to 5G is affecting the demand for equipment to handle data. How different markets that perhaps didn't build up as much during the 3.5 and 4G era are spending now in preparation for that? It's enabling a lot of new types of digitized services that are incredibly data intensive. I was out in uh, Japan and Korea this past week, and uh, in some of those markets, we are working, for example, with automotive companies that are increasingly instrumenting their cars with a lot of sensors that send data back over public networks to telemetry hubs. And they are using artificial intelligence together with NetApp data management technologies to make their cars much, much higher quality and even in the future autonomous vehicles. So that's an example. In the media and entertainment segment, we clearly see the increasing use of rich media and content that can be delivered over a variety of over-the-top mechanisms. And DreamWorks, for example, is a customer of NetApps. You know, DreamWorks is a company that makes the world's best animated films. Um, and my kids tell me that I'm cool because I get to work with DreamWorks. These movies are incredibly data rich and data intensive. And DreamWorks, for example, sees the opportunity to, to make more movies and deliver it in more ways over the networks of the future. And they're working with NetApp to help accelerate the rate at which they can make better movies for their customers.